Assalamu alaikum. My name is Zubair Hussain. I'm a cognitive behavioral psychotherapist, and today I will be talking about postmenstrual stress disorder. Postmenstrual stress disorder, or PMS, is the name given to a cluster of symptoms which a woman may experience a week or two weeks before her monthly cycle. A woman may experience some physical changes and some psychological changes as well. She may experience some changes in your body, such as feeling quite bloated to feeling quite tender, to some psychological changes from feeling incredibly low to maybe feeling quite elated in her mood. There are also some marked differences in her mood as well. There will be some feelings of being irritable, anxious, feeling quite tired, angry, frustrated, and women often report having low tolerance levels during this period they're in. The most surprising thing about PMS is that it pretty much affects 80% or more of women. Albeit it's not commonly talked about, you would be surprised that it is a common disorder and many women are affected by it. Changes in mood is normal. Even men go through changes in mood. But if you think about it, during a menstrual cycle, your hormones are changing. So is your physical body. So you are bound to experience some changes in your psychological state as well. This is completely normal and completely acceptable. It might become a bit more than just feeling a bit irritable and low to marked depressive mood to feeling incredibly anxious and irritable as well. Some women may report feeling chronically low, chronically irritable, and may actually become extremely emotional, tearful, and feel quite overwhelmed. What we do know is that women who have previous history of mental health problems or family history of mental health problems may be more prone to this disorder as well. The reason for this is they may not realize or recognize the changes their body's going through. There might be a lot of societal pressures on them, a lot of pressure from school, colleges, studying, family, Along with all those pressures and responsibilities they're balancing, these girls and women are also balancing the changes that are going on in their body. All put together can be incredibly challenging and stressful in itself. As mentioned, PMS involves some marked changes in your mood and your psychological state. You may feel extremely irritable, extremely agitated, and you may become quite sensitive and angry. Part of treating PMS is raising awareness around PMS. Unfortunately, many people may not understand why these changes are occurring and why these mood changes are occurring as well. By raising awareness, we can decrease the ignorance, the lack of education around this disorder. We can increase the sensitivity for this problem. And hopefully women can access more support when they are feeling quite down, vulnerable or overwhelmed. Often the significant shame, stigma and taboo with regards to women's problems and therefore women are reluctant to come forward and talk to either a professional, their family member about the difficulties that they are experiencing. It goes without saying, unfortunately, there are cultural implications and cultural restraints. These are some of the reasons why women are reluctant to come forward and talk about their difficulties. You would be surprised that many professionals are trained and are aware of the difficulties that they experience. And it is advisable that if it does become unbearable, or if you are being extremely impacted by these monthly changes, to seek advice from a professional. There's no harm, there's no shame in this. You'd be surprised. There's psychological treatment and also medical treatment available for this. Unfortunately, PMS is often dismissed as being a bit moody, having your monthly mood swings, and therefore there's no validation around this condition or this problem. It's one of the beauties of Islam that Islam has assigned many rights to women. And it, therefore, it is important that we go back to these principles and think about the rights of their mental and physical health as well, and make sure there is awareness that these rights are addressed so that their mental and physical needs are met. I would urge all women to consider the importance of addressing and looking after their physical and psychological health, especially during these vulnerable monthly periods.